This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games, who has a brand new standalone game coming February 9th to GameFound.com crowdfunding platform, Kingdom Rush Elemental Uprising. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Dupp. I'm sure you're wondering what all these games are doing right here. Well, I thought, why not do a giveaway on today's video? So check back at the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can enter for a chance to win one of these games. But today's video is all about board games launching the second half of January on I'm going to just say crowdfunding platforms for 2021 since uh, there will be more games coming to uh, crowdfunding platforms other than Kickstarter. So for 2021, I will say launching on crowdfunding platforms. Without further ado, let's get started. just announced the Kickstarter for the Animation Collection, January 13th, Scooby-Doo the Board Game, Teen Titans Go Mayhem, and Looney Tunes Mayhem. These next few launch on January 18th. Quinning Games launches Carnegie, a game for 1-4 to four players. It takes about 120 to 180 minutes to play. This game was inspired by the life of Andrew Carnegie, who was born in Scotland in 1835. During the game, you'll recruit and manage employees, expand your business, invest in real estate, produce and sell goods, and create transport chains across the United States. Galactic Raptor Games launches Kingdoms of the Deep, a game for 1-6 to six players, takes about 45-60 to 60 minutes to play. Deploy your aquatic forces to take control of the ocean kingdoms. These next few launch on January 19th. Scribble Town is a roll and write game that can be played with any number of players. It plays in about 30 to 45 minutes. Players draw areas such as neighborhoods, businesses, factories, farms, and parks at each score in different ways. And De Bezier Games launches Castles of Mad King Ludwig Collector's Edition. Here's a quick video that shows all that's going to be in this Kickstarter. Designer Ted Alsbach is bringing fans of the Castles of Mad King Ludwig the collector's edition they've been waiting for, featuring all new gorgeous detailed artwork, a dual-sided recessed scoreboard and swan player markers, game trays storage organizers, support for up to five players, new rooms and king's favors, all existing expansions in addition to two brand new ones, royal decrees, which introduces asymmetric player abilities, and the Towers expansion, a new category of rooms with matching custom-painted tower miniatures. Upgrading to the Royal level will add intricately detailed metal coins, weighted poker chip favors, and smooth plastic swan tokens. Players looking for a larger-than-life experience should consider the colossal set of additional rooms, which are four times larger. Bring Castles of Mad King Ludwig Collector's Edition home to your kingdom this year. Primal The Awakening from Reggie Games for 1-4 to four players takes about 60-90 to 90 minutes to play. This is a fully cooperative monster hunting miniatures board game set in a fantasy world where humans struggle to survive an untamed wilderness. We'll see the Rune Lords board game. Game for one to four players takes about 45 to 180 minutes to play a game. This is a hybrid tabletop gaming experience based on the world from the author David Farland. Players first choose from four dynamic rune lords, each with their own reinforcement cards that have a physical presence on the battlefield and support cards with additional spells and abilities that are drawn and played from a hand during battle. Sealed Book Project launches Exodus, a challenge book game. Check out this quick video about the project. Do you want to immerse yourself in a mysterious adventure where you can single-handedly solve all of its riddles, puzzles, and brain teasers while using some mind-bending physical artifacts, reading an epic and thrilling story, hearing stunning sound effects, listening to exciting piano music, and marveling at exquisite art drawings? 
You do? Then let's begin. Evans Games launches Bunny Party at Maple Valley. This is for three to four players, takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. Bunny is building alliances and decorating for a space themed party. On January 21st, Dragon Dawn Productions launches Michaud and Orkney Saga. This is a gritty hand management card game for one to two players, takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play. On January 25th, TGG Games launches Mob Big Apple. Rival Mafia families battle for control of New York neighborhoods and contraband. Each round, players take turns rolling two dice, then decide how to execute the results. Each roll allows players to allocate henchmen to the two game boards and perform various dastardly tasks, such as loading cars with henchmen to drive to locations, loading crates of contraband, revealing their rival's moles, and eluding the district attorney. Also on January 25th, Goto Games launches Human Punishment The Beginning. Buckle up, this will be one hell of a ride. Affirmative. What are you waiting for? Come and get us. And so it begins. These next few launch on January 26th, Puzzle Master the Octonauts, Zodiac War, where you gain star crystals as you compete in a Zodiac War, where you gain star crystals as you compete in an astrology themed rotating board game for two to four players, takes about an hour and a half to play. Colossal Games launches Reload, a battle royale game where you fight for fame. Check out this cool promo video for it. In the not-so-distant future, the mega-corporations of the military-industrial complex have developed cybernetically enhanced clone soldiers. They team up with Media Corps to stream their training trials, live from an isolated island, replicating the deadly conditions faced by these ex-tech elite warriors. Thus was born Reload, the hottest entertainment on the planet. And now, it's showtime! Parachute onto the island! Adapt to the map to overcome the terrain and other contestants. Gather equipment, use your unique skills, and strategically choose your actions as you battle your way to superstardom. The clock is ticking as the map fills up with toxins, forcing the contestants together, thrilling the audience, and building to an exciting finale. With so many ways to gain fame, the action keeps fans on the edge of their seats. Upload beacons, complete achievements, set traps for your rivals, or disarm theirs and injure opponents, forcing them to reload to stay on the show. Inspired by classic video games, Reload brings the Battle Royale experience from the screen to the table by capturing all of the fast-paced action and freedom of gameplay that players love. Reload is more than a game. It's the greatest show on Earth, and you are the star. And I think Cryptid Cafe from Squatchy Games launches where you work as a lead server in a Cryptid Cafe, a Sasquatch-owned restaurant. I believe on January 28th, Paranoia Rising Games launches Vigilante, where players build a team of heroes to complete conflicting secret objectives. For three to five players, it takes about 45 to 120 minutes to play. Klepto Kittens, I think, is going to launch sometime in gen late January, and this is a game of push your luck and memory. I believe I heard that Galama Games is launching Forest of Radgoss sometime in late January. Find and rescue two children lost inside a forest full of creatures from a Slavic myth. For two to seven players, it takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. And I think Roxley Games is going to be launching a Kickstarter soon as well. I don't know the exact date, but I'll keep you updated on that as I find out. 
A quick shout out to one of our other series sponsors, Mesa Game Lab. With over 35 combined years in the animation and visual effects industry, Mesa Game Lab's artists will work with you to create stunning animated videos and GIFs for your Kickstarter campaign with options for full 3D environments, 2D animated characters, dynamic motion graphics, eye-catching 3D animation, and Kickstarter page design. They can surely highlight everything your game has to offer. Contact them by visiting mesagamelab.com. Well, from this list, Tantrum Mouse will be doing videos, Castles of Mad King, Lovely, the Collector's Edition, we'll have a prototype of that, Reload, and Mob, Big, Apple, and some others. Check those out on our channel coming this month. But I'm sure you're saying, how could I enter for a chance to win one of these games? Well, we've got Munchkin, Disney DuckTales, we have Gates of Mara from WizKids, we have High Rise from Formal Ferret Games, and then we have Predaporte from Portal with some promo stuff as well. So, some really cool games here that we want to give away. So check, uh, so first of all, like this video, that helps, like the video, um, and then check out tantrumcon.com. I'll put a link in the description of this video because Tantrum House is doing a virtual convention February 5th, 6th, and 7th. February 5th through the 7th. We'd love for you to join us for that. And we'll be doing lots and lots of games that you can play with us. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be really, really cool, really different. So we'd love for you to join us for that. We're going to sort of have a, what we're calling a Zoom crew. And you can, if you really want to be playing some of the games with us, uh, we'd love for you to join that Zoom sort of group. And you can find out more information at tantrumcon.com. But if you just want to watch and chat in the in the comments as well for the virtual convention, you can do that as well because we'll be doing lots of playing of games and showing off some new titles coming this year um, just during the convention. And what you need to do in order to enter for a chance to win one of these games is to comment in this video. I will choose a commenter. Um, and what you need to comment is what game or games you're excited about that will be coming to Kickstarter in 2021 or crowdfunding campaign, any crowdfunding platform, I should say. So you can um, enter for a chance by commenting in this video with a game or games that you're excited about that will be coming to a crowdfunding platform sometime in 2021. So it doesn't have to be from this list that we mentioned today, but maybe it could be a future uh, crowdfunding or Kickstarter. So we'd love to hear about that. Thanks for watching. Check out all our other videos coming soon.